All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, while I'm saving the uh, introduction <laughs> for sex ed, I thought, uh, why not uh, do the other one here? Uh, what's interesting is that even though the church is saying it's up to the parents <laughs> or the individual, uh, that's not what they mean as we will go through these. That the church is giving sex ed in this manual, in the handbook. They're telling Mormons what they're supposed to believe about their bodies and about sexual behavior. And it can't be further from reality. <laughs> As this is just a, a comedy thing. <laughs> and so, um, uh, what's interesting though is that because they're making this public, that any Mormon, any Mormon, can come to the church's website and read the handbook. And so remember all that talk about pornography being harmful to children? Artificial insemination. Hey little girl, do you want to talk about artificial insemination? Go to the church's site. They'll tell you all about it. This is how disturbing this is. <laughs> For the church to interfere in human lives and not realizing the hypocrisy as they warn Mormons of the dangers of sex ed and sexual behavior and are then spilling the beans <laughs> exposing people to what they claim is a harmful thing <laughs> that's why this is so hilarious Oh my god! And so we'll start with legal issues relating to abuse and we'll call it sex abuse. Ah, man. But, uh. Ah. It just almost leaves me speechless about how atrocious this is. The hypocrisy, the pure hatred, the, they think Mormons are this stupid. Because they're all concerned, as the legislature right now is deciding should pornography websites contain a warning? <laughs> because they're going to harm children. If the children are already going to it, they're now especially going to go to it if they see the warning. Oh, it's got the warning. This must be good. <laughs> so, oh my god. And the protect LDS children. Remember that scandal? Bishops are talking about stuff that little kids don't know anything about artificial insemination. <laughs> so a bishop going to a little girl and say, hey little girl, want to know about artificial insemination? Well tough, I'm going to tell you all about it. <laughs> it's just wrong on so many levels. But, uh, I just, I just, ah, uh, ah. Uh, so this one is about legal issues. And so, I mean, the church is trying to just give their middle finger to protect LDS children, aren't they? And uh, Mormons who think that, oh, God. All right, so legal issues relating to sex abuse, as I'm turning it into, uh, though they're talking generally about abuse. Uh, th they talk about how you're supposed to call the cops. Uh, unfortunately, here in Utah, you can't call the cops when it's a church leader. When it's your bishop or stake president who's supposed to call the lawyers for the church. <laughs> and so... Uh, that's been a problem if you've been paying attention to Utah news because bishops and stake presidents 
are neglecting the victims of sex abuse and other abuses. Uh, and the bishops and state presidents are not reporting it to the cops, are they? They're calling the lawyers for the church instead. See, with the Catholic Church, Catholics have what's called confession, where you go into a booth and there's just a, a screen that you can't see the other person really. I guess you could in some situations, depending on the TV show you watch. But uh, I, you're supposed to confess all your sins to the, the, uh, the church leader of the parish. And uh, uh, then he tells you how many Hail Marys or rosaries or whatever uh, uh, acts of con contrition you're supposed to give. And apparently you can get away with murder, literally. As the Catholic Church has come under fire in our generation, uh, and then it's been under fire since its inception, but... Uh, Okay, the video is done. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, does a religious leader have to report crimes that they learn about to the cops? And the answer is yes. There is no other answer. It's yes. You report crime. Uh, but uh, when you create a scenario where certain people are beyond the law, untouchable by the law, then you create problems. Uh, let me save this as I'm talking to you here. Uh, handbook sex scandal. I've got to put it into this alternative file that I created. Handbook sex ed. Alright, so LDS, and there it pops up. Click. Delete the MP4 at the end. Backspace, enter. Disappears. Uh, I'll finish this video before I upload the other one. And so, in the church, we're not Catholic. And so, for bishops and stake presidents or any member of the church who learns of another member committing crime, you call the cops. You know, if they confess to committing a crime in a bishop's interview or a stake president's interview, the bishop and stake president call the cops. They say, hey, I've got to call the cops. I recommend you do the same. Because you've gone beyond sin. You're now committing crime. And then uh, a church court would need to be convened and of course you're going to be absent because you'll be in prison and so it'll be held in your absence as you get a letter in prison from your state president you've been excommunicated but they don't do that and that's what's so frustrating is that BYU of all places you know, they establish these places as places of refuge for Mormons from the sinful, evil world of Enya. <laughs> if you watch my other videos. Uh, and, and yet, the, because of this security measure, it creates insecurity. As people who are victimized of crime have to keep it a secret because they're going to get punished for calling the cops and reporting it. And so even my lawsuit, I had enough. The church just won't let me go. They insist on pushing and pushing and pushing until I'm dead. I'm not going to conform and comply. I know too much. I'm not some dumb, ignorant person who doesn't catch on to their gaslighting and their brainwashing and their abuse. So I had to sue. 
they left me no other choice. But in Utah, everybody's Mormon. So they're all temple Mormons who give loyalty oaths to the church over the Constitution and the law of the land. And so do you understand that? Article of Faith number 12. The church is not beyond the law. They are not the law. The church itself, in our scriptures, tells us that we must all obey the laws of the land. But the church's history with Brigham Young has taught the Mormons otherwise. To hate the United States because the United States shut down Brigham Young's polygamy. You are not following God if you are violating the law. The laws are simple. Life, liberty, property for everyone. You take life, liberty, or property from another person, you're committing a crime. It's that simple. And that's what the church is doing. And so legal issues relating to abuse, I am a witness and a victim of the church's abuse towards me. And I reported it to the cops, to the FBI, to the prosecutor, or the prosecution, to lawyers, to the attorney general, to other government departments, and they're all in on it because they're protecting the church. And so everybody is guilty because association is also guilt as if you'd actually pulled the trigger. Being the driver, being the person who's there to collect the money from the bank or whatever crime you're committing. If you're watching a chain gang, if you saw the Kavanaugh hearings, anybody who doesn't call the cops is complicit in the crimes. And so in my lawsuit I said although I'm a victim and a whistleblower I've been complicit as a Mormon being born and raised deceived by the church participating in their crimes the protection racket and the recruitment pyramid scheme And so when it comes to rape, no wonder Mormon women are the highest per capita for those who take depression meds. Because the church hates women. That's why Utah is so backlogged and getting further and further behind on keeping up with all the rape kits. It's taking them so long that any new rape kit submitted today won't be processed until the statute of limitations is over with. That's how bad it is. And so this scandal about the church leaders calling the hotline that's to protect themselves from prosecution. They're not interested in obeying and honoring and sustaining the laws of the land. They're interested in securing and protecting and defending the church at all costs. And that's why they bailed from the Boy Scouts. That's why they bailed from their adoption agency. That's why they bailed from the hospital. 
That's why they keep bailing from things. Because it ran its course, now people are catching on, and the church is going to get busted soon if they don't bail and take the money and run. And so, legal issues regarding sex abuse in the church.